Let me introduce you to Sir Isaac Newton. Newton was born in England in 1643. He was a famed mathematician, astronomer, and physicist. He's also regarded as one of the most influential scientists in human history. He developed the laws of motion and helped develop a new type of math called calculus to model them. He created the first reflecting telescope in 1668, and at the time, it was 10 times more powerful than any telescope in use. His most famous accomplishment was his work on gravity. According to legend, Newton saw an apple fall from a tree, like that. He knew that an object would not move unless something pushed or pulled it to move it. Newton asked himself, what causes the apple to fall from the tree? Newton decided that a force must be acting between the earth and the moon, one that doesn't require them to be in contact. A force is something that can change the motion, shape, or other features of an existing system or body. Newton hypothesized, or made an informed guess, that the force that pulls the apple to the ground is the same one that pulls the moon towards the Earth. Let's look at Newton's law of universal gravitation. Gravity is the force that governs motion in the solar system. It's the force that creates the stars and planets, and it's the force that pulls an object towards the center of the Earth. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every object in the universe attracts every other object. Newton didn't discover the force of gravity, but he realizes that it happens everywhere. That's when he wrote his law of universal gravitation. The force of gravity is measured now in units called Newtons, named after Sir Isaac Newton. Let's see how much you remember about Newton's law of universal gravitation.